schedule. It is daunting. Very challenging slate beginning Saturday in Columbus. In the span of the first four games, they play the three highest ranked teams in the conference, the Buckeyes, along with Wisconsin and Penn State. And Nebraska coach Scott Frost, kind enough to join us. Coach, let's start with this. You fought very hard for football in the Big Ten this year. What does it mean to you that it is about to happen? Uh, we're excited that it's going to happen. Uh, we're grateful to the people that helped get it done. It was the right thing to do. I think it was the right thing to do all along. Um, we fought for football because um, we believe that that's what should happen. We want to give our kids an opportunity to do what they they came here to do, and uh, I'm glad that we ended up with this result. It is a resolution that does come with some challenges, most specifically all the protocols surrounding COVID-19. What has been the biggest challenge for you in terms of executing that? Um, you know, I don't know if there's been a challenge. I think the biggest challenge the entire time is just trying to figure things out on the fly, um, trying to solve problems, trying to gather every bit of information you can to try to do what's best for your team and keep your uh, young men in your program safe. Um, I think we've done a good job of that here. There's been a lot of people that have contributed to that. Um, now that season's uh, upon us, uh, really the, the restrictions are in place, um, we can manage them, and we're just looking forward to playing football. How have your preparations for this year been different than in past years, Coach, specifically given the fact that you didn't have the spring practice that you would typically have, and then, of course, the uncertainty surrounding whether or not you'd play? Yeah, everything's been different. Uh, one of the frustrations has been not really understanding uh, what we were doing or being able to tell the kids uh, what was going on in some circumstances. Uh, we've done the best we could, just like everybody has. Uh, I think we've had a lot a lot more practices with no pads, probably when you add them up, than we, we normally have. Uh, trying to get the guys ready to play physically here at the end and putting pads on. Um has been different. Pretty much everything about this preparation has been different than a normal year, and uh, we're just trying to stay one step ahead. Want to dive into your team a little bit? You cleared up one question this week by naming Adrian Martinez as your starting quarterback, but along those lines, you also said Luke McCaffrey's had a great preseason, and he figures to be very much in that mix as well. Give us a sense of the relative strengths of each one of your QBs. Uh, they're both great athletes and both great uh, character people, first and foremost. Um, I think they both have really improved uh, their ability to throw and, and get balls off on time. Um, you know, it was really hard to make a decision. Uh, Adrian certainly has the experience, and that's probably uh, why the decision ended up the way that it did. Uh, but both guys uh, did some unbelievable things in camp, and uh, whichever guy's under center, uh, I think uh, we'll – put our team in an opportunity where we have a good chance to win. You brought in Matt Lubick as your offensive coordinator. You have a history with him. How important was that in terms of maintaining the momentum in your program? Yeah, you know, Matt and I have worked together before. Um, we speak the same language and uh, see a lot of the same things on offense. He's done a great job coming in, helping us get more organized, uh, being able to do things when head my head coaching responsibilities take me away uh, so he's been great to, to lean on and have here and I uh, feel like having him here will make us better on the defensive side uh, watching you last year it seemed to me the biggest issue was the point of attack uh, particularly in conference play five and a half yards plus per rushing attempt for your opponents how do you get better there particularly given that you lost some people on the defensive line yeah I think uh, we worked really hard on that. Hopefully there's improvement. Um, I think we'll be bigger up front than we have, even though we lost some special players. Uh, I think we're going to be more athletic and linebacker and be able to uh, be a step faster to some plays. And, and one of the biggest issues was making sure we set edges well and uh, played well on, on, on the edges of our defensive line, outside linebacker. Um, feel like we've made improvement there, and, and but we need that improvement to carry over to game day. What's the biggest question mark you have about your team as you head into taking on Ohio State this weekend, Scott? Uh, we're ready to take the next step as a program. Uh, I think we just need some momentum, and we need our kids to believe it, understand how good they can play and go out and win games. Uh, we certainly weren't done any favors by the, the schedule that the Big Ten office gave us, um, particularly early on in the season. 
Um, so we're going to have to, to battle and fight, and um, our program's ready to, to get some air under its wings and take off. Um, but the road they gave us to climb is tough, so um, I don't have any doubt where we are as a team. Uh, we just have a, a, a bunch of challenges ahead of us, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, what's the message that you give your guys? Because you've spoken really publicly about the fact that that schedule is front-loaded, that you have Ohio State, who you're supposed to play all along, but you play them in the first game. You play the defending West champ Wisconsin after that. What do you say to the guys about, you've made these public statements about how challenging it is, but how do you get them to the point where they believe they can win those games? Um, I think they'll believe it, but at the end of the day, you got to start winning some games and then winning leads to more winning. And, um, we got, you know, we got a tough schedule, but our guys are excited to play, uh, regardless of what happens. We fought for football because of the right thing to do. Uh, this should be week eight, not week one. Uh, we said that all along. Um, there's really nothing that's changed from September to now that should have kept us from playing this entire time. But that being said, we're just grateful football's back and we're going to go go down swinging and doing the best we can in every single one of these games and looking forward to the challenges. Well, looking forward to watching your team play starting this weekend against Ohio State. Scott Frost, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it, Dave. Thank you. 